Well, she's got a law degree, but says she can't find a job. It is now drowning in debt. The first of its kind case just went to trial here in San Diego. Team 10's Melissa Masiha was in the courtroom for the start of what could be a bitter courtroom battle. Melissa? Anna Alberta says basically Thomas and Jefferson lied about how good of a school it was. The question the jury will have to answer is whether she walked it through these doors misled by postgraduate employment information or did she just not work hard enough to get a job she really wanted. It's taken five years to go to trial with two opposite stories. Anna Alberta graduated from Thomas Jefferson School of Law in 2008, but she says the road to becoming a lawyer hasn't been easy. And what she found was that employers are not hiring Thomas Jefferson graduates. And her lawyer says she was smart, graduated with honors, passed the bar on the first try. But she says the school lied to her and other students. TGSL told the public that its graduates were far more successful than they actually were. And Ms. Alberta, the plaintiff, went to TGSL because she believed those false employment figures. The lawsuit states the school includes all postgraduate jobs in its employment figures, including if a student works as a part-time waiter or convenience store clerk. She paid more than $100,000 for a law degree that was not what she purchased. And she would not have gone there had she known the truth. Thomas Jefferson's lawyer said during opening statements. Thomas Jefferson's data was overwhelmingly accurate, uh, but was there any uh, plan or practice to falsify evidence? Absolutely not. Attorney Mike Sullivan admitted collecting employment information is challenging, but he also argued Alberta got two job offers after she graduated, including one at a law firm. She turned that down for a higher paying legal sales job. The evidence will show that the reason she attended Thomas Jefferson School of Law at the end of the day was that it was the only law school that she was admitted to. Alberta's lawyer says they also filed the lawsuit to stop the school from putting out what they call false statistics. She is uh, asking for $125,000 in damages. This trial expected to last a couple weeks. Reporting live in downtown, Melissa Masiha, Team 10.